as cops arrest the woman who claims she found a finger in her chili and Inside Edition exclusive. The couple sitting in the booth next to her at Wendy's speaks out. She goes, look, I found a finger in our chili. See what they caught on their camera phone. Oh my gosh. That woman who claims she found a finger in her Wendy's chili has been fingered herself, now under arrest in connection with the case. But she's not the only person who ate chili at Wendy's that day in California. Inside Edition has spoken exclusively to a couple who was right there at the restaurant at the time of the gruesome discovery. As Jim Murray reports, their chili is still around in their freezer. And Anna runs up to my table and she's like, don't eat the chili. This couple is speaking exclusively to Inside Edition about Anna Ayala, the woman who claims she found a human fingertip in a cup of Wendy's chili, a woman who's now been arrested in connection with the case. Daniel Berrigan and Davina Cordero were sitting in the booth right next to Ayala's when she claims to have bitten down on the fingertip in this San Jose, California restaurant. She scooped the finger out of the chili and she rolled it onto a napkin on our table and she's like, there's a human finger in the chili, don't eat it. They even took pictures with a cell phone camera. We knew right, right off the bat, you know, taking pictures uh, maybe be helpful to the police or to, to somebody. When it happened, Daniel and Davina were also eating chili and they couldn't help fearing the worst. I had some in my mouth and so I spit it out and immediately I became nauseous and I walked out, I ran outside. All that at first, Ayala wanted to sue Wendy's. The couple says Ayala wanted them to be part of the lawsuit. They were upset when Ayala decided not to sue. We were just angry, you know, because she just didn't inform us with anything. She just, just dropped us. This is the San Jose Wendy's where the finger first turned up, and this is a junior frosty shake. Throughout the weekend, Wendy's will be offering these free of charge at all of their Bay Area restaurants. It's both a gesture of goodwill and an attempt to win back customers here in Northern California, where business has dropped from 20 to 50 percent since the finger story first broke. The drop in business since the March 22nd incident has also forced layoffs in the Wendy's workforce. We wondered how Daniel and Davina would feel about eating at Wendy's again. If it turns out to where she planted the finger, then, uh, you know, I'd have no problem going back, you know, because Wendy's had nothing to do with it. <laughs> You'll also recall that for a while, some wondered if the fingertip this woman lost to the bite of a leopard might have been the fingertip Ayala claims to have found, but DNA tests proved that it wasn't. For now, the origin of the fingertip remains a mystery. Now that Anna Ayala has been arrested, the people who were with her when it happened don't know quite what to believe. In the beginning, we both believed her. Towards the end, he still believed her, and I had my doubts. Meantime, a spokesman for Wendy says the company is thrilled about an arrest of the woman in connection with the fingertip incident.